Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rat from Ratko Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Leo Sun, Moon, and also Rising Weekly General Tarot reading February 7th up until February 13th, 2022. And if you do wish to skip the card draw for your star sign and you want to jump right away to the spread, you can definitely do that by using the uh, the timestamp in the description down below other than this uh, should you enjoy uh, the content here on the channel and uh, if you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe hit that notification button 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 so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well uh, live streams all right so let's make the cut and uh, do the draw the first card that uh, you, Leo, have, uh, that is going to be the Lovers. Uh, followed by the second card for you, Leo, we have the Three of uh, Wands. Followed by uh, the, fourth card, the, the third card of the spread, which is uh, the Moon. Uh, moving for the fourth card, and it's going to be uh, the Hierophant. And the final card of your spread, Leo, that is to be the King of Cups. Okay, so we do have these five cards, but I do wish to draw one more card for the King of uh, Cups, just so I will be able to tell you a little bit more about this individual, what they are, what kind of a character they have, and as well what uh, role they are going to have into your life and the catalyst to the King of uh, Cups. That is going to be the full card. All right, so that's going to do it for the draw, and now let's jump right away uh, into the spread. Hello, so you can see your spread on the on the screen here, and uh, right off the back, uh, this week is not going to be bad by a large margin, especially the start of the week is going to be very, very strong for you. Having those two cards here, residing at the very uh, at the very start of the week because uh, what those two cards really shows it is that because of some very well made decisions by you you are to make significant progress into your current enterprises in general and where you do feel most consistent and stable at and you are to expand that thing even further into the future or even further into growth was the word that i was uh, i was wanting to say so uh, should your love life is going well is gonna go even better should your uh, career goes very well is gonna grow even better and uh, those two cards here at the very start of the week truly strive toward um how do you put it into uh into words they do strive toward where you do have a harmonious experiences you do capitalize on these harmonious experiences and make your uh make your follow-up even greater i don't know how to explain it but because we do have the lovers at the start of the week, right away you are to address um, aspects into your love life or into your career. Aspects which could, not could, they are problematic, but how problematic they are, it's going to be different for each one of you, Leo. For some, you are going to have big problems. Others, you are going to have small problems. But the thing is that you are going to start addressing them. And uh, remarkably, for some of you, it will uh, it will be revealed that you can resolve these issues. And by resolving these issues, you are starting to see more homogenous and as well, how can I put it into words, symbiotic a growth into either your career, either your love life as well, <clears throat> which is going to lead to towards the middle of the week where you are going to feel that you do have it pretty much in the back under control here with the three of wands you're going to feel like you are sitting on a solid patterns is it existing or rather like a stable found, found a lot of foundations okay and now the only question is or how the question is going to stand it is what follow up next do you have anything better to do than what you have been than what you have accomplished up until this moment and the more deliberations you put into it the more you will understand or realize that yes there are better things to do there are more challenging 
things for you to do more challenging projects more more challenging jobs as well so we can capitalize here or rather like summar summarize here is that the week it's all about how big your hopes are or rather like dreams are and are you willing to challenge yourself to accomplish those dreams because they are not accomplishing themselves on their own accord at least for the time being uh, on a more material and practical level here uh, you can expect the start of the week towards the middle of the week to go exactly as you have planned okay and all of your expectations are to be met career wise and as well relationship wise and that is going to be the reason for the material harmony that you are going to experience at the start towards a the middle of the week should you happen to date though as we do have the lovers there from the start towards the middle of the week have uh, uh, respect for the for the differences that you and the person you are dating with uh, are going to have because you are going to have differences and they're going to be more pronounced or mostly pronounced in that stage of the week and uh, instead of looking at these differences as an affliction you should look at them as a virtue like you do have a lot to learn from one another for example or you do have a lot to uh, show to one another for things you have not dared to experience up until this point and after that really strong start of the week we are approaching the middle of the week here and that is going to be defined by the moon card and so at the middle of the week things are going to slow down significantly with the moon card uh mainly there are going to the circumstances are going to get out of hand in a sense of that you will not going to have any control whatsoever over the situations and over your personal uh circumstances as well that is because when the moon card operates things are aligning exactly as universe's wishes or if you believe in god exactly how god's wishes uh and uh under the moon card uh, whatever and whatever questions you do have is highly unlikely to find an answer of because if you do know you have the power to change and the moon card is all about the destination you are meant to experience you are meant to find yourself in there and if you do know the destination you can change that destination which you are not supposed to the reflection of that into your um material life is going to be an emotional life primarily is going to be a bit of a uh, how do I put it into words? A uh, hectic experience in a sense of that you are not going to feel exactly very safe and very stable as well. Um, some people are prone also to fall into uh, a belief into the doom and gloom as well. For example, you may start being afraid that whatever wife or a husband you have are going to leave you for for whatever reason you are start imagining those reasons your imagination is going to be at its peak here at the middle of this week same thing could happen in regards to your business you may start imagining that you are losing grip on the business nothing like that is happening it is just because things are out of your it's it's not even fair to say control uh, control it's more like they're out of your predictability that's why you may start experiencing these feelings that you know you you are going in the wrong direction while you are striding to exactly toward the right direction that you are supposed to be at but this uh, state very quickly is going to diminish because the next card we do have that is going to be the hierophant here uh yeah the hierophant and if not anything else, the Hierophant is a sign that everything is working out the way it is supposed to work out. For the Hierophant is the father of the hierarchy. And you can't go for the cherry of the cake without, without eating the cake first. You can't hope to marry somebody before you date and actually live together for some period of time and so on and so forth you can't hope to become ceo before you become very very experienced into the business that you want to become a ceo it's just there is a structure that needs to be kept and uh, that structure is going to fall completely within your no knowing here out of the moon card where it was very vague obscured and unpredictable now you will know exactly where things are heading with your love life with your career as well and uh, 
at that stage of the week, should you still feel yourself lost, uh, with the Hierophant, you are likely to receive a benevolent support under uh, the, uh, how, how do I put it into words, uh, in a version or under the version of a very important counseling, uh, <clears throat> being thought, being guided as well. But uh, here, whatever concerns you do have, uh, you are to see a resolution within there within the framework of your already existing uh, civilization so you don't have to kind of like try to find the means you already have the means and the follow-up of that it is that whatever you are facing into your career it will be bearable and it's just you are going to be the term you're going to find yourself being determined to uh, to make it work and you can make it work but what is more interesting about the hierophant it is its um, relationship manifestation and again should you happen to date at that point uh, with the hierophant it's highly likely that the trust and the reliability you both have to certain extent into one another because some will have bigger than the others uh is going to grow exponentially and many of you Leo, are likely to find a new meaning and reason to, to to fall in love or to love in general but the week here for you guys ends with this individual showing up and that is very undefined for the lack of better word uh so these people they usually show up when how can i put it into words they show up into dying life when they have something to offer, okay? But the thing is that this person has nothing new to offer to you. I do think that the way that I do think that this is going to um, materialize, it is that this is a person who comes up to offer you something, whether it is a business, whether it is a project, or maybe they will offer to be with you in a relationship, their offer is way overdue. I mean, they're far too little, far too late, probably late with a month or two, or maybe with an year or two as well. Uh, should you have nothing to lose and nothing to sacrifice, you may want to consider the offer, but just by the look of the cards, this offer is not going to is not going to present you with anything new under the sun. Okay, just anything new. Although the person itself has that wish, has that wish to change, has that wish to to how can I put it into words? to adapt to the situation, to adapt to you, but I don't believe that that type of people can do that i mean while the intentions and are genuine having the intentions and having uh, the determination are, are two different things and you get to decide what you want to do with that offer whenever that offer comes about but again if you have nothing to lose if you have nothing to sacrifice for that offer there is no reason whatsoever for you to deny it so with that being said guys uh this was your weekly general tarot reading uh, for uh, february 7th up until february 13th hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we may see each other next time until then bye